Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. And when we last left off, we joined up the zebras with the ostriches, and we learned that these ostriches are pretty, pretty picky. If uh, I have to say so myself, and I do, they get stressed from being looked at, and as you can see by the flood of humanity here, uh, they're looked at quite a lot, and they don't like it. So maybe we need to either get these guys some public speaking courses so they're comfortable uh, out in public, or we can adjust our pin uh, right here, maybe flip this uh, uh, enclosure around to where the entrance is facing this brick wall then we surround it around the back side and make sure that they have a walkway uh, to get in there that is step one of today's episode and the next step we're going to level this chief beef and this gulpy extend the path on through to this center area and i think this would be a nice area for congregation of food courts restrooms and maybe even an exhibit so we'll see uh, what we can do today, uh, but first and foremost, the, the first thing that we are going to do is uh, delete all of these uh, foliage pieces, flip this thing around, level the ground, and start from scratch. So a little bit of a speed build for you, and here we go. All right, as you can see, we have uh, put up a nice big wall around this pen. Uh, we've also um, got it to where they can walk back here and sit in their little pen, hopefully obstructed from the people at large. Uh, we might have to adjust a little bit, uh, and that's just going to, you know, have to be trial and error whenever they, um, whenever they want to hide. We'll see if we need to put some more reeds or something around here. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and cover up this hole a little bit uh, if we can. And they should still be able to get around that backside and hide. So we'll keep an eye on that. And the next thing that we were going to do is, uh, let's see, can we level this gulpy here? It looks like it's sort of out of business anyway. So we will demolish that and continue the path on through. And uh, really no need to get too greedy with it. Let's uh, shorten it out to 20 feet and extend it back through here. And then we are going to uh, make like a big old, you know, walkway path. Uh, maybe even put some exhibits in the center here and put some food stalls and foodstuffs bathrooms around the outside ring. So I'll go ahead and get to that and be right back with you.
All right, food stalls have been placed. We have an exhibit here with four uh, creature capacity, lots of donation bins around the side. Um, we'll put some siding on these, uh, these guys right here just to see. Uh, if we can spruce this area up a little bit as well as getting trash cans in. So the next step uh, to see if we can beautify these guys. So I will be right back. All right, everything is coming up well. We're getting our food court laid down. We just need to hire a vendor for each and every uh, store here. So vendor, 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 vendor. Hopefully they'll all get straight to work. Hopefully these people will uh, get the pathing figured out and realize, oh crap, there is a lot more food over here and uh, we can direct some of the people around here. So let's go ahead and play. And everyone should hop in their stalls open for business. And uh, yeah, it looks like even some are going to take a break. Yeah, some were uh, already filled, which is good. So we'll have some extra vendors around ready to take a break. And now people have figured things out. The pathing is set. We're starting to get some people uh, heading towards the food court. And we have some uh, some nice visitors here. Nice to see you all. Welcome to my zoo. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is get four brand new exhibit animals up in this piece. So I will go ahead and take a look through the exhibit trading animals here and uh, see what we want to get. All right, first thing we decided on was the giant burrowing cockroach. Um, so we haven't got one of those yet. Uh, we've got a male and a female right there in the northern bit of Australia, 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and 60 to 80 percent on the humidity. Uh, so let's, can I scoot this over? No? Dang it. Uh, all right, so we're going to have to, uh, to remember 25 to 30, 60 to 80. So 25 to 30, all right, let's go enrichment level one, enrichment level two, enrichment level three. And uh, right there, 20, crap, I forgot already, the giant burrowing cockroach. All right, we need 25 to 30 and 60 to 80. So let's go 27. And then our humidity is going to be 60 to 80. Let's go 66. All right, then play. So temperature should be uh, pretty good whenever we get there. Giant burrowing cockroach will be our uh, information panel here and then we can sort of see uh, when the cockroaches come uh, what that is all about yeah I don't see them yet but the zookeeper uh, should be on their way another alert for the polar bear not being in the ideal temperature but I mean the polar bears you know they uh, their ideal temperature varies a lot all right let's take a look and see if we can find Oops. No, it's operational. Did it still keep our temperature? Yes, indeed. 
All right, let's go 28 and 69 on that humidity just to see if we can boost that up just a little bit. And uh, I'm not seeing anything about their food. So hopefully they're getting grade 3 stuff. Uh, that would be ideal just to make sure that their nutrition is well kept. So yeah, giant burrowing cockroach on their way, and yes indeed, people are really starting to figure out um, where to go. And it looks like the water is, Pipshot water is doing really well, and we also have Pipshot smoothies doing really well as well. Everything else is kind of little, but we have thinned out um, this group here. Um, part of me wants to close one of these down for business, maybe train uh, Benny here. If we can train up Benny, he can go, um, yeah, we can do staff training there. And once he leaves, we can demolish that chief beef. He should go on to training and then that will direct other people towards our food core here. All right, so I don't know if our burrowing cockroaches have made it. I don't think I see them, but, uh, oh nice, plain zebra is about to have offspring, so we are going to get a little zebra up in here. And how is the stress for the uh, ostriches going? Are they, are they doing okay? Are they stressed? What you doing? Yeah, land area could be a little bit bigger. But yeah, sitting down. Go ahead and give birth. There's our little baby zebra. We have Dahlia, the zebra, and she is off and running. Nice to meet you, Dahlia. Welcome to Saka's Sanctuary. You will not be harmed here unless you're really, really picky and finicky. All right, Zookeeper is going around cleaning everything. That is outstanding. And yeah, we separated the, the group a lot as far as um, congestion goes. A lot of people are um, spacing themselves out, which is ideal. A lot of people want smoothies though. Yeah, I mean, we've got um, gulpy sodas here. We've got gulpy slushes. Come on, people don't stick with the smoothie, but at least people are getting their, their thirst on. Maybe I'll come back to gulpy soda when it's less busy. Well, just go somewhere else. We have plenty to choose from. It's not from a lack of, uh, of choice, that is for sure. All right, so the next animal that we are going to uh, put in an exhibit for, uh, we're just gonna have to see. One moment. The next one I decided to get was the Titan Beetle. Um, so they should be in there ready to go. Uh, we've got their temperature and humidity set. So we've got, uh, the burrowing cockroach right there, and we should have Titan beetles uh, up in this exhibit ready to go. Uh, I don't see them yet. They could be in the trees, uh, but let's make sure that our educational uh, purposes are in the Titan beetle. And with them being uh, black in color, uh, they may be hard to see if, uh, if I am so bold to say. And yes, indeed, it does look like they're really difficult to see. But for our next creature, I think we want to get out of the jungle theme and might try something a little bit more, say, desert. Like the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I mean, take a look at him just chilling there. That is, uh, who do we have here? Okay, so that's our education board. I don't want to see our education board. I want to see our Diamondback Rattlesnake's name, please. I mean, that's, a uh, Intimidating view, that is for sure, just blending right in. Uh, but inside this exhibit, we have, who do we have here? We've got Abigail and Benu. Oh, two females. Okay, so we might need uh, another male. Let me take a look at the Zoopedia for the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake and make sure that one to two, they are promiscuous. Okay, so, okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of one female then. And uh, who do we have here? So Abigail is a no star and uh, not that good. All right, so poor Abigail is going to have to uh, 
to bite the dust, I would think. Let's see if we can move her out. Uh, yeah, send to the Animal Trading Center. Uh, let's get a male Western Diamondback Rattlesnake in here, Swindell. Send to the zoo right there, please. All right, so in our trading center, uh, we should have an animal ready to go. Uh, animal storage. Nope, no species stored. We got a lot of trade history, no rewards. Uh, but it does look like, indeed, our rattlesnakes are there. And one is actually uh, there under the heat lamp. Very cool, indeed. Nice. Can't see her face that well. And uh, there we go. But uh, yeah, that leaves space for one more creature. So we've got two jungle type creatures and one desert type creature. Uh, let's take a look through here and see if we can find one more good exhibit animal for us. Like the giant forest scorpion. So I don't actually see our giant forest scorpions though. Um, which would be very dangerous if you were walking through a forest such as this one and you couldn't see the scorpion that is about to stab you right in the face uh, with their stinger. Um, but yeah, so we have over here the uh, Titan Beetle just chilling right there in the corner. We are our, our burrowing. We have our Titan Beetle over here. We have our burrowing cockroach over there, that monstrosity. Our Titan beetle, uh, massive, massive, massive beetle indeed. Uh, one would think with such girth, we would be able to see the Titan beetle. Um, it doesn't look like it is on the wall at all. Is that hanging on the tree there? Is that, is that the beetle? Trying, trying to get on the tree and I can't see because of clipping issues. Yeah, there they are. So the Titan beetle chilling on the tree. Then we have our two rattlesnakes. One is chilling under the heat lamp as so, then the other one is right there. And luckily they are easy to spot and uh, you can hear them when you uh, get up nice and close. And then we have these two scorpions, which I still do not see. Tell you what, can we uh, zoom in on uh, Amaria? Wow. Nope, wouldn't have saw her. Right there is our giant forest scorpion. Right there at, at ground level, nice and tiny. And yeah, now now you now they sort of stick out like a sore thumb. But there we go, four exhibits done, and we've established a bit of a food court situation. And looks like everyone is on break. Now thankfully, what we have done is uh, b brought in a lot more vendors to the to the zoo, so they'll sort of rotate out. But what I kind of want to do is get, what's this staff? Okay, so that is the staff center. Five out of 12 people are chilling. It's nice and efficient. A uh, few vendors, repairman, zookeeper, all that good stuff. Giant Panda is about to have offspring like crazy. But thankfully, uh, the staff room isn't too awful far away from there, and in fact, I will shorten up their path a bit with a staff path that goes right through the right through the middle of the bathroom there, so they can get directly to the staff room and then back to uh, the vending area. And why you got, why you all dancing? Probably because I put down a path and you couldn't figure your lives out. But now you're good. The bathroom is right there. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. So it looks like people are happy. They're uh, getting their, they're getting their food on. They're getting their drink on. We've got plenty of vendors going to work here, providing plenty of drinks, and we have probably a lot of extra vendors around as well. And uh, looks like the cash machine is getting used. And uh, you know, I'm not going to charge them for an ATM fee because one, we don't need money, and two, they do. So we can keep them in the zoo longer if there is no charge for the uh, for the ATM. All right, you're hungry. Call the keeper, please. Get a keeper there. I know someone is uh, someone is is nearby, or at least should be. 
Uh, hopefully the Gia monster will be uh, settled. And hopefully these ostriches are out of the way. So chilling in here, are you getting de-stressed? Yes, indeed. So the stress is going up, you're hiding, and you feel nice and safe and comfy, and there's a back way in for them. Outstanding. Kaylee, the reindeer, has matured into an adult. Doesn't look like she has, there she goes. So there's Kaylee, the reindeer. Nice to meet you, Kaylee. We'll have to keep an eye on these ratios and proportions uh, just in case some adults, uh, too many adults is not good for business. But yeah, feeling pretty good about this. Feed that Gia monster. What are you doing, zookeeper? Call you. Why you no call? Oh, here we go. Yeah, feed the Gale monster, please. There you go. Nice and fed. And uh, wipe down the exhibit as well. Yes, donation bins aplenty. All right, so a pretty good episode. Mainly housekeeping, but we did get a few exhibits here next to the food court. So while people uh, walk around and eat and drink, they can see four new animals in the zoo. So I'm pretty happy with what we've got here. It's nice and spread out. People shouldn't be too congested. And then we can work on our next exhibit, possibly over here. Plenty of animals to go, but that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Planet Zoo video. Take care.